Hello everyone, so uh, in this video, we will go through how to make a basic block in Clo with uh, different pattern functions and features. So you can download the uh, guideline, the notes, from the link below. You can also follow the steps in this video to create the basic block together. So first of all, we need an avatar. So please uh, go to the avatar folder in the library and then choose one of the female avatar. And then we will uh, apply a size to this avatar. So go to size folder. And then uh, we will use a missy curvy. So go to missy curvy folder and choose size 10. So you can double click on the size 10 file to import this size to the avatar. So now you can check uh, some information in the guideline. You can see uh, what we need for this practice uh, about the measurements. So first of all, we need to create a rectangle with 49.8 cm times 41 cm. So choose rectangle tool in Clone, and then one click on some empty space and put the value there. 49.8 and 41 cm and click OK. And after that, now we have a rectangle. So please move it on the left hand side on your screen. And then we will find uh, identify the center front and center back because we will add some points from the center back. So it is first, uh, we will add 20 cm from center back line. So right click on the top line and choose split and put the value we need, which is 20 cm. And make sure we add it on the yellow line. Otherwise the position will be incorrect. And next, we will enter the value for back neck width, which is 7.4 cm. So again, right click on the top line and choose split and put 7.4 on line 1, which is in yellow. And next is the back neck depth is 2.3 cm on the center back line. So right click on the center back line, choose split and put 2.3 cm on the line 1. So we mark all the points that we need. The next step is about the shoulder drop. So for this avatar, it has shoulder drop of 4.1 cm that you can check in the avatar editor. Then we will uh, right click on the point that we mark at 20 cm. Right click the point and choose add perpendicular internal line and find local. With this option, we can adjust uh, the direction of the internal line and also the length, which is 4.1 in this case. And now we have an uh, internal line marked on this point. And then use an internal line tool and draw the loop to connect the back neck width and the shoulder drop. So now we have the shoulder, uh, we have the shoulder line there, and then choose the internal line for the shoulder drop and convert it into base line. And next, we will uh, create a line to mark down the half of the across shoulder. So it is 19.9 cm. So select the center back line offset as internal line and put 19.9 cm. So 
So here we can see that the internal lines uh, have some intersection point. So we right click on the loop and choose add intersection point. And after that, delete the uh, extra end point so that the loop will just end at this uh, straight line. So you can uh, review for step 8 and 9 and 10. And now we go to step 11. So we have a back width uh, 17.9 cm. So again, offset an internal line from center back. This time is 17.9 cm from center back line. So now we need an armhole depth, which is 24.9 from the top. Then we can select the top line. You can select either one of the top line and choose offset as internal line and put 24.9 in the distance. In the notes, it also shows you uh, the calculation, how we get this value. And last step, uh, we will need a uh, center back neck to waist. So it is uh, 41, that means the length of this uh, block. So we select this line on the center back because we have a uh, uh, leg depth. So we need to extend this line to 41. And double check the location is correct or not, we need to add the extra part on the bottom. So we choose end in this case. And then move the point to match the new length. You can see a pink highlight. That means it can match the new uh, line that we just do. And also the internal line, also move it down to the bottom. So now we basically finish the black, uh, the back measurement and mark down all the position that we need for back borders. Now we go to front. So the step is very similar. We first also add a point at 20 cm from center front. So center front is on the right hand side. Again, split the line and enter the value. And this time, be careful on the line that we need to change. This time is line two in blue color. So 20 is put in line two. And then we need a front leg width, this is 6.9 cm. Again, right click and choose split. So this time it is light one in yellow. We put 6.9 on light one. And then we now need to add a point for front net depth, 7.4 cm. So we right click on the center front line and split. Double check which line we need to change. It is night one. So put 7.4 in night one. So next part is the front shoulder line. So it is for the front shoulder line, it is also similar to the back. We need to add a perpendicular line from the point at 20 cm from center front and put the value for the front shoulder job, which is 5 cm. Next, we need the sloop to connect the front neck width point to the shoulder drop line, which is step 5. So choose internal polygon line tool, click on the front rack front leg width and then connect to the sort of drop line. 
So we need to match the front and back shoulder lines. So we need to first check how long is the back shoulder line. So you can use edit pattern tool and click the internal line on the back, so which is 13.15 cm. But the, for the front, we need to make it shorter. So you can right click on the front internal line, choose change length. And now put 13.15 cm. Also make sure the location is correct. We need to shorten from the shoulder drop direction. And now we can convert the internal line to base line for the shoulder drop. And then we mark a front chest line from center front. So right click on the center front line and offset a internal line. So the value is 16.9. Make sure the value is correct, then you can click OK. So now we have the front chest line. And then we need to find the side seam position. So side seam position is 24.2. So we mark a point on this internal line. So choose the internal line and split. So it is 24.2, which is in line 1 on the front. So we mark a straight line perpendicularly. So we choose at perpendicular internal line from that point. But you can see that the direction is not correct, so you can click reverse, so it will be on the bottom. So this line is for the side seam. And we need to mark the point on the pattern outline, so you can choose extend and trim and add point to the outline. So we will base on the point that we just add and add two points at 1 cm on each side. And now we use a uh, edit pattern tool, right click on one side and choose split and put 1 cm. And on the other side the same, we put 1 cm from the center point. And then click OK. Now we need to connect this point to the side seam line on the top. So we can choose internal polygon line tool and draw the internal line. So one click and one click at the end. You can press enter to finish the line or double click to finish the line. And now we actually have all the measurements and now we need to connect all the points together. So we are still using internal polygon line too. So first I will connect the point on the back leg line. So when you move the mouse downward, you can see the pink highlight then you can make sure that it will match the center of uh, the back uh, leg drop, the back leg depth. And then draw a slip on the armhole. And also the front leg line.
So we need to change this straight line to curve. So one of the options is to use smooth, smooth curve for the leg line. So you can click on the Edit Pattern tool to have the drop-down menu and choose Smooth Curve. And press your left button of the mouse and move the mouse, then you can see the curve is created at the corner. And now it's become round corner. Same step for the front. Press the left button of the mouse and move the mouse at the same time. Then you will change the sharp corner to round corner. If you find there is an extra point, you can change it to curve point. Yeah. But if you want to keep it, then you can just leave that line there. Yeah. And you may zoom in to make sure the internal line point is uh, matching on another one and no gap in between. And now for the armhole, you can use the Edit Curve Point 2. You can one click and pull the curve point to uh, adjust to match the internal line that we just marked. So you can add few more curve points. So it should be smooth enough, but at the same time, touch the line that we just marked. So if you're satisfied on the back, then you can do the same step for the front. So at this stage, we can at least make sure the bottom arm hole is smooth enough. For the front, we can also adjust it later. Yep, so the step uh, to change some extra segment point to curve point that I mentioned. So now I also change the segment point on the back left line to curve point. So now we have a very clean uh, line on the template. Then everything is ready. We can trace this line into a pattern. So choose Trace Tool. Hold the Shift key and then select all the lines which will form the block. So now I choose these lines for the black, for the back and right click trace as pattern and I have a back body so you can delete some extra internal line but if you want to keep some lines for your reference you can convert the internal line to base line by right click but if you delete the whole one so you need to double check uh, whether the line is uh, connected. If yes, then you should delete from the end point and keep the internal line inside the body. Now we convert the internal line to base line. So same step for the front body. Choose Trace 2 and hold the Shift key on the keyboard. Select all the lines which will form the front body. Right click on one of the line and choose trace as pattern. So delete some unnecessary internal lines or convert them into a base line. So now the block is ready for simulation.
So for the template, you can delete it or you can right click the pattern and choose deactivate. If you want to keep the template, you can deactivate it so it will not be simulated later. So arrange the front and back body. And now we create symmetric patterns. So for the front, I will choose, I will use symmetric pattern with sewing by right click. And you will find this function with a shortcut Ctrl D. And then paste it on another side. For the back, I will choose the center front and right click and unfold symmetric editing with sewing. So we have two ways to create symmetric patterns. So now we will do the arrangement on the avatar. So you can show the arrangement point and put the pattern on the arrangement point. the back the same put it on the back with by the arrangement points so we need a sewing to con uh, to connect the seam so you can add sewing line on 3d window or 2d window the front seam shoulder seam and side seam After adding all the sewing lines, then we can click Simulate. So you can double check the step in the notes. So after simulations, now the block is using the default fabric in cloth. So you can also apply muslin to this block because in real life, we also use muslin for the block. So in our fabric library, you can search muslin and we have four options. So you can choose either one of them. And since the pattern is not very big, so we can reduce the particle distance 10 for more uh, detail that can be shown. So you can, you can see that uh, this block is not yet perfect. For example, the leg line is not smooth enough. Then we need to uh, improve the leg line. So we can select the shoulder line on the front and back by edit pattern 2 and right click on one of the shoulder line and choose match up. For this case, uh, either to start or to end or center is uh, the same. Then now the front body will go to the back and we can adjust the leg line so that it can be very smooth from the front to the back. So you may delete some extra uh, curve point So now, after adjusting the line and simulate, I can see uh, the leg line is very smooth in the 3D window. So you can choose edit curve point or edit curvature to adjust the leg line shape. So next, next we will do the bust dot. But before that, we can see that uh, the front pattern is rotated. So we can uh, make it to become perpendicular. So first choose Edit Pattern 2. 
to select the hem, the hem line on the front and back body and then right click and match, match up. So now it becomes perpendicular and you rotate it and it will become uh, the original position, original um, place. So if you think it is a little bit, uh, go to the back, you can go to side view and rotate the whole garment with the gizmo too. So it can be dressed up better on the avatar. So now we will create a bus dot and a waist dot. So how to create a dot? So because uh, we are using 3D simulation, uh, we can do uh, make a dot uh, based on the 3D result. So first I need to find the bus point based on this avatar. So you can show the uh, avatar measurement in the avatar displays and also choose a transparent texture. So with the avatar measurement, we can see the bus point. And with the transparent surface, once we click on the fabric based on the bus point on the avatar, we can find a blue dot that we just click on the 2D pattern. So this blue dot means the bus point that we need. And now I need a base circle to mark down this point. So you can hold the shift key to draw a little circle near the blue dot. And when you show the baseline in 3D window, you can see this circle should be on top of the bus point on the avatar. And now we need to mark an uh, internal line from this bus point we we'll change the two to internal polygon line. So click on the bus point and go down and click on the pattern outline to finish this internal line. And we need to mark a point on the pattern outline. So right click the end point of the internal line and add point on the pattern outline. Then this internal line can be converted to base line. So this point that we add on the pattern outline is the center of the dot that we need. Then how much we need to make for the dot? You can use the tag tool in the 3D toolbar and click on the 3D garment. So you can see that we have some ease for the bust or the waist. When we tag on two points and simulate, we can see that this ease will be eliminated. So this is the size of the dot that we need. If you think it is too tight or too loose, you can use the uh, edit tag tool to adjust the tag length or the tag position. If you think this is ready, then we will create a dot in 2D window. So if you make the tag line longer or shorter, the result will be different in the 3D window. So now we need to create a dot. So use Edit Pattern 2, right click on the point that we add and choose Add Dot. So if the tag length is 4.5, then you can put 4.5. And the length for the dot, so it is, it should be matching to the bus point. 
So you can test different value until it can match the first point. And now the tag function finish his mission, his mission, then we can delete it and simulate. So we have the dot on the waist. And you may see that the hem is not very smooth, so we need to shape the dark cap. To shape the top dark cape, we need to select the dark line that we just create. Select both and right click, then you can find shape dark cape. And at the hem, you can see a curve that we can adjust. So you can move the red ball, the red point, if you need to adjust the curve. When it is finished, you can press enter to complete. And now after simulation, you can see that the hem is very smooth. So this is how we create the dot. So please repeat the same step for the bust and the back waist dot. So for the bust dot, now we focus on the arm hole. So you can use add point or split line tool to add a point on the arm hole. And then right click on the point and create dot. So it should be pointing towards to the bus point. So in this case, I think it is not the best on my screen. Then you can undo it or convert the point to curve point. If you think the tag is too long or too short, you can still adjust it. So here you may need to test few times to find the best position for the bus start. So actually the tag should be put a little bit lower so that the dot will be pointing to the bus point. So now this should be a better position for the bus dot. And right click on the point and put the measurement on the dot table. So now we are use 4.4 cm for the dot width and delete the tag and simulate. And I have the bus start. So the armhole is not smooth enough, then we need to shape the dot cape. You can fine tune the curve. If you're satisfied, press enter and simulate, then you can improve the dark cape. So a similar step on the back. So you may find a point for the dot and add a base circle. and add point to the pattern outline by the internal line endpoint. 
So this is the center of the dot. Now we use TED tool on the 3D garments to find the dot size. And you can use edit uh, tag tool to check the length. And go back to 2D pattern and choose uh, right click the point and choose dot. So for this case, this is 4.8 cm and 19 cm. Delete the tag and then simulate. So last step, shape the dark cape by right click on two dark lines. After adjusting the curve shape, then you can press enter to complete this, this step. So it should be the final result that you have. So it is some idea for you that you can create your basic block in Clove. Once you have the basic block, you can create whatever garment or blouse that you want in Clove. If you are interested to know how to modify the basic block to a woman blouse, you can watch the next video. So thank you for watching this video.